This is Dr. Margaret Trizzle. Hi, how are you? <laughs> and today we're taking a closer look. <laughs> Dr. Trizzle, you attended medical school after studying film in college. Uh, could you please share with our undergrad viewers uh, your advice on what to tell their parents when they say that they're majoring in film studies? Film studies is a great major. It will prepare you for anything. Uh, you could be, really, I think any major that you have your heart in is the major to have. Um, it's not a barrier for a career in medicine or law or any other profession. And uh, as somebody who was on the admissions committee for several years here for the medical school, uh, we look really favorably at people that have non-STEM majors. They stand out in the crowd. And so, you travel a lot for your work. Uh, can you tell the viewers a bit about where you've been in the past year? Yeah, so academic medicine is a busy life in terms of travel. So I've gone to Spain this year, I've been to Helsinki, Finland, I've been all over the U.S., um, San Diego, I just got back from San Diego, California, I've been to Vermont, Florida, Minnesota, you name it, <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> Um, and so uh, you're an advocate for the uh, use of social media to improve clinical care. Do you ever encounter any skeptics along the way? Yeah, there are a lot of skeptics. I mean, skeptics have a lot of emotion, uh, and those are actually people that you can actually persuade uh, to your point of view, more sure. than people that are just neutral or bored. Uh, but I just got a grant uh, for a million dollars to study social media in uh, clinical treatment. So, yeah, my, that answers a lot of my skeptics. A million dollars would tend to do that, I would imagine. Um, the mind is uh, said by some to be the most complex organ in the human body. How do you uh, demystify psychiatry for your patients? Yeah, so mainly I have to do a lot of teaching to, well, unlearn some myths around psychiatry. Uh, basically, I ask people what do they think is going on, do they, is it something they have, is it who they are as a person, is it something they're doing or something they've encountered. It's a little more complex than the straightforward uh, non-psychiatric medical conditions, which are usually all things that people have. And so uh, why is clinical excellence important as a psychiatrist, uh, particularly when uh, treating substance abuse disorders? Yeah, so psychiatric conditions including behavioral disorders like substance use are highly stigmatized and the people that have those conditions are highly stigmatized in our society um, and that really interferes with them accessing care and getting uh, the kind of treatment that they deserve. So uh, everybody is worthy of our uh, respect and dignity and uh, I just want to reinforce that with patients with psychiatric illness because those are so stigmatizing. Dr. Chisholm, thank you very much for your time. That was a closer look. <laughs>